Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I wanted to answer the question, what is the gallbladder, okay? Now, the gallbladder is located underneath the right rib cage, right here. Okay, you can see this is the liver on the right side. It has a little tube. The liver makes a fluid that goes into the gallbladder, okay? And the gallbladder basically stores bile, B-I-L-E, okay? Now, bile is not waste or bowel, like people think it's like waste. It's no, bile breaks down fats. It breaks down fats, fats like, a, like a detergent will dissolve grease. It breaks down fat into small little tiny particles. So then certain things from the pancreas, certain enzymes like lipase, which basically breaks down fats, worked in the small intestine to take that already broken down fat into really tiny particles of fat called essential fatty acids. Okay, so that's what it does. So the pancreas and the gallbladder work together to absorb and uh, break down fats. So the gallbladder secretes this bile when you eat fat. That's when it's supposed to release it. If you don't eat fat, it's not going to release it. So it stores bile. It also concentrates bile. So the bile in that gallbladder is super strong. So you don't need much of it, probably like one ounce or two ounces of it, and it squashes out and it comes in the small intestine and it does its work right there. So here's the thing. If you're actually consuming six meals all day, like with snacks, you're doing three meals and you're doing snacks in between, at night you're grazing, and every time you're eating, you're basically releasing some bile, especially if you eat any type of nuts or fats or anything like that, well, guess what? you're going to really create a loss of this concentration of bile because you're constantly eating. It's constantly, it doesn't have a chance to concentrate. So you're going to actually eventually be deficient in bile. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But, um, and that's why intermittent fasting is so healing to the gallbladder because it allows the gallbladder to concentrate its bile and not have to work so hard. That means eating without snacking through the day. Okay. So it concentrates the bile. It also kills bacteria in your food. That's pretty cool. All right, so now let's, let's get back to this bile thing. The emulsif emulsification comes from the Latin word, which means milk, which actually means um, combining uh, water and fat. And that's what milk is. It's, it's like a combination of a, a substance that has water and fat together. Because you notice that fat and water don't mix. Well, when you emulsify it, it, it can actually mix better. And that's why the bile is an emulsifier. It's kind of like a, it, it allows the, um, the fat to be broken down and dissolved and mixed up within the rest of the, um, uh, the food coming down from the small intestine. Because if you didn't have anything to break down the fat, the fat would just kind of go right through you and it wouldn't be dissolved. So bile also helps you lubricate the colon. So when you're deficient in bile, you become constipated, okay? Uh, also, if you don't have a lubricated colon, you'll have pain when you actually are digesting, when, it, when the food kind of comes, goes through because it's not lubricated. Also, bile helps uh, uh, alkalize the, the stomach acids coming down from the stomach. Uh, so they have the super concentrated acid from the stomach. Thank goodness we have the bile to help neutralize it because the bile is alkaline. All right? Now, how do you know if you're deficient in bile? Well, first of all, your stools are going to float. I don't know if you've ever tried this as a kid where... Or you've probably seen people when they have the little stools floating in the uh, toilet and you try to flush it, it doesn't, go, it doesn't go down, it just keeps floating. That's some serious amount of fat in there. That, that person does not have enough bile to break down the fat. Okay, so the stool should sink unless it has too much fat. Okay, so also a pale color. That would be a, a lighter color. That would be an indication of lower, uh, low bile. Also uh, bad odor. Uh, anal leakage and it's oily. So um, those people have low bile because the oil is just kind of going right through them. Uh, we talked about constipated bloating, probably right shoulder pain. But this is the big thing. They're going to actually be deficient in fat-soluble vitamins. That's vitamin A. So there goes the eyes, there goes the skin, there goes the sinus. Also vitamin D, bone pain, poor immune system, that's low vitamin D levels because they don't have enough bile. Vitamin E, that's heart, skin, hormones. 
uh, vitamin K, clotting factors, bruising. Also K2, high, uh, getting rid of soft tissue calcium from the arteries, very important. And then you have uh, the essential fatty acid absorption. So essential fatty acids are those um, very, uh, uh, they're called essential for a reason because we need them. Very important for your heart. Very important as an anti-inflammatory. Very important for the cell structure in the cell wall. Very important to your skin. So if you can't absorb essential fatty acid, you're going to have dry skin, dry hair. Um, so we got, even your mood is affected by essential fatty acid. There's a lot of people who take omega-3 or DHA, uh, all these healthy fats for uh, certain health conditions. Well, without this bile, you can't absorb it, okay? So if you feel like you're deficient, um, you just need to focus on improving the function of there. Let's say you may be uh, deficient in bile, okay? What do you do? Uh, you can get a purified bile salt product, okay? Um, I use one called the gallbladder formula. This doesn't necessarily just have purified bile salts. It has a lot of other things. It has stone root to help dissolve gallstones. It has pancreatic enzymes to help you take the pressure off the digestion. It has betaine hydrochloride to help digest the acidify the stomach. So it helps the stomach, the, gall, the pancreas, the gallbladder, Spanish black radish, slippery elm bark to lubricate these little things. So it's a really good formula. Um, I like it. And you take that after a meal. You take one after a meal. You don't need more than that. And some people just take it after one meal. Now, when do you know that you don't need bile? Is when you have diarrhea. Why? Because bile will actually increase the elimination. So if you're already eliminating too much, you don't need bile. Okay. Also, if you have a hyperthyroid, the thyroid is moving too much, and you add bile to it, which you don't want to add that product, um, that's going to speed up more thyroid hormone, and you'll have more hyperthyroid. Uh, this would be good for, um, taking bile would be good for someone that has a hypothyroid because bile is necessary for the conversion of um, T4 to T3, the thyroid. So it makes your thyroid work better if it's slow. So the only reason you wouldn't want to take it is if it's too fast, which is more rare, but I just want to make that note. Um, so I hope that helped you understand the gallbladder a little bit more and what it is. And people just take these things out like there's, like it's, not important, but it really is important. Try to keep your gallbladder um, at all costs. All right? Thank you so much for watching.